This is another Photoshop um, photo restoration project. I received these two photographs. Um, they're some from, from some family members, the Faraday family, and the, what I thought was most interesting about them was the fact that as I started to restore them, and you know I was looking at trying to figure out what this sign said, and I realized it said Plowboy, and you know I'm looking at this lady that's fairly serious looking, and you know this kind of stuff, and I knew it was going to be you know, some difficult restoration. But then as I'm looking at this other picture, this lady, and thinking about the reflections in the window and what kind of stuff I see, I noticed over here on the side that this picture included a similar piece to this. It was like they took one and then maybe took another, and she hadn't moved yet. Um, so what I did was I tried to take these pieces and not only restore them, but then put them together as one picture. Um, and I'll show you kind of some of the problems I had doing this. So the first thing I had to do was get my color a little bit better and a little more balanced. And there's countless ways to do this, but so um, and plus I have to do this in you know a matter of a couple minutes. So I don't have all the tips at my at my leisure here. But what I'm going to go is I'm going to do image mode. Actually, I think image adjustments levels first. Okay, so now you see that there's no black and that there's not much white. So what I'm going to do with this level is I'm going to drag this up so that I get a little bit more white, and it's kind of right at the beginning of this mountain peak. Um, and then I'm going to drag the black in. Okay. And that's kind of what it would look like with that done. That's without. And if I click Auto, you can see that sometimes the auto does some pretty amazing things with your pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Image, Adjustments, Levels, and you can see the shortcut to this is Control L. And I'm going to click Auto, and I can see that it also did a good job. Now the tone is slightly different between the two pictures, as you can see, as is the size. I think they were a step or two back. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this picture. I did basically select all and copy. And then I do File New. And instead of doing what it is here, I'm going to change it to percent. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave it on pixels. And I'm going to just double this. I'll say 5,000. 500. Okay, now you'll see. Let's see, this one I'm going to do. Let's see what I should do. I'll just do 600. Okay, and I'm going to paste. Whoops. Okay, so what I meant to do, let me just do File New and then do OK and paste, and then do my canvas size to 200%. 200%. And I'm going to drop this up in the top left corner. OK, so I can go ahead and minimize this one. And this one, I'm going to select all and copy. And over here, I'm going to, let me zoom out. Okay, zoom out. I'm so used to using shortcuts, but I'm trying to not do that um, with this. And I'm going to paste. Now, if I drag this lady over here, well, I'll just start this over here, kind of in the middle. I'm going to drag this other one up to the top layer. And what I try to do is I'm actually going to drop my opacity so that it's a little bit transparent. And then I'm going to drag this over. And you can see I'm going to have to free transform this. And if I hold Shift, it'll keep the aspect ratio like that. And I can move it around a little bit. Let's see, I have to make it larger. Move it again. OK, and again, I'm racing against time here because we're already at four and a half minutes. Um, but if I get that about where I like it, And it's not quite perfect, but 
Um, let's do this. Free transform. That's pretty darn good. And so I'm going to do view, fit on screen, and then what I want to do is crop this so that I'm not working so much against the system resources. All right. This the less stuff you have open, the quicker things will go. So I'm going to go image crop. And I'm actually going to go ahead and flatten these two layers. I'm going to go control E on a PC and then that will put those two on the same layer. And actually I probably, if I was doing this, you know, more carefully, I would have adjusted these colors so that they would match a little bit better. What I would probably also do is grayscale, and then don't flatten. Okay, and you can see how that would be a little bit easier to work with and try to match things. Image adjustments, auto contrast, image adjustments, auto levels, and you know, play with it like that. Now you can see that you can make a picture out of this, but the problem you have is that this young man's shoes are not here, this little girl's shoes are not here, um, the dog's feet aren't there. However, if you look over here, this little boy here has boots. Now, if you're feeling creative, you can take a boot um, from something like this and paste it and use them in another spot. Now, again, this is going to Whoops. You, it takes a little creativity here, and you've got to, you know, play with some stuff and adjust colors and things like that, but you can do it. The other thing that I did was using my clone stamp, I kind of went along here, and I was going to start right here about, I'm, I'm aligning my top of my circle here with the top of the stoop, and alt click. And then if I go down here and align it to the top of the stoop again, and then start click and paint, I can actually, <laughs> I don't need her feet, but I can actually extend out the brick. And if I do it again, I can extend the brick out again. And you're going to have to do some adjusting. Um, all right. And so that basically gives you a, a brief introduction. Basically, if I kept working on that and took out some of these other pieces and added some extra stuff up here with the window, you know, I can go alt click here and then paint a little bit more window up here. And you can fill in the blanks. Now, here's an example of what I have on my composite. And if you didn't really know any better, you'd look at these pictures and you know, you wouldn't really notice that his boots are the same as his boots, and that her little sh shoes are just the same two boots. Um, but sometimes you can fill in with other pictures. For example, if I had a picture of the family from somewhere else, I might have a picture of little shoes, or, you know, if there was a tear across something, I might have a picture of somebody else's face that you could copy in, but that's another tutorial. <laughs> anyway, you could see that here the stoop that is actually, uh, you know, goes all the way across. And you can see a little bit of a line that I probably should have fixed, but these are the things that people won't really be looking for. They're going to be looking at people's faces and the buildings and things like that, and they're not going to look for the little details. These little details are what help tie your picture together. And if you really look carefully, you'll see that she's standing in the midair. So I never quite finished that picture. Anyway, um, I hope this was helpful for you, and um, I hope you're enjoying these.